Hello and welcome back to the Georgia State University Climate Literacy Labs. In the previous labs, you learned about the solar radiation and the reasons for the seasons. Then you traveled to the second layer of the atmosphere, the stratosphere, and learned about the ozone layer. Today we are doing lab number three, the troposphere. In this lab, we are going to concentrate on the lowest level of the atmosphere, in which we all live. Similar to the stratosphere, it comprised of gases, droplets and particulates. Particulates, also known as aerosols, are the tiny pieces of solid or liquid matter. For example, the tiny pieces of sand from Sahara Desert dust storm in Africa can travel as far as the Caribbean Sea. As you see from the chart, both stratosphere and troposphere consist mostly of nitrogen and oxygen. But what differences can you see? As you learned in a previous lab, the stratosphere has higher concentration of ozone, but the troposphere has the higher concentration of water vapor and particulates. And can you guess why it is the case? What is the major source of the water vapor on Earth? The Earth's oceans are the major source of the water vapor. So as far from the source you go, as lower concentrations of the water vapor you see. That's why water vapor concentrations drop dramatically with the increase in altitude. But it's enough theory as for now. Do you want to see how those layers of the atmosphere actually look like? Let's watch the video of the astronaut free fall from near the top of the atmosphere. Do you like this video? I love it. Remember the astronaut's free fall. What do you think changed when he entered the troposphere? This picture, taken from the International Space Station, can help you think in the right direction. Why do you think the troposphere appeared so different in color compared to the other layers? Well, the troposphere has many more gas molecules, water droplets, ice nuclei and particles. They reflect sunlight and that's why this layer appear in that reddish color. This is also a reason why you can see those bright, beautiful sunsets. By the end of this lab, you need to answer three big questions. How does the troposphere differ from the stratosphere? How does composition of the troposphere change with a change in altitude and latitude? Have fun doing your lab. See you next lab. <laughs>